Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Just confirming if the stream is proper and if you're able to view the slide and the video properly. Good evening. All right, yeah. So uh, we have fixed the issues that we had with uh, streaming earlier. And hopefully today we will be able to run it without much issues. So if there is anything, please do, do not hesitate to point out. I would be, I'll try my best to get it fixed. I was using my uh, secondary device, uh, which, has, which has the capabilities of writing and speaking at the same time earlier and thus that's where uh, the device couldn't handle the load earlier but yeah hopefully today it will be fixed and in case there is anything please don't hesitate to point out as our team is actively there in the chat box so if you have any questions post it there the sister will definitely address it i'm also watching out the comments as i speak with that note let's start off so good evening everyone today we're going to do i oh wait i think i named it experiment date instead of session eight well it is going to be an experiment we're going to experiment something on perfect squares and higher powers there will be some example questions done in this session much more many more questions which are what was which are is available in previous year questions will be available in the in uh, our in the session summary log along with these questions will be available in our log so with that small note let's start off before we begin whatever we are teaching here we have already tried to explain it beautifully concise with much more examples as possible in our book csar net general aptitude a new outlook which was written by christy sir and i and now it's a seventh edition if you have the book, please refer to it alongside the lecture. If not, grab a copy. You can find the link there in the chat box. Well, with that small note, we decided when we started, decided to, decided to start this course, we decided that we will tell why we are taking this course in each session. First five minutes, we will focus on this. The reason is we shouldn't forget what motivated us. We shouldn't forget why what drives us to do this we should fo be focused just to chase our passion to teach without restriction i met christy sir nearly 11 years ago in Pondicherry university and what made us best friends is our passion and love for teaching and we hope to chase our passion for teaching without restriction because christy sir was in a private platform and i was in established college and a university earlier but we realized that there is a lot of restriction in teaching the right way and also to give free educational content for those who aspire to learn a lot so we hope we hope to overcome that that's the reason that's one of the reasons we wish to we started the sessions we hope to help you achieve your dreams and to do that we hope that's one of the least things, one of the many things that you get that you, as a teacher, one of the biggest satisfaction you get is when your student get back and say, Sir, like what you mentioned and that well, what you told in the class and that made us better teachers, better scientists, better uh better we we could perform well in the exam it's not just in the exam as you go forward so we hope to help you achieve your dreams through these sessions and also the motivation when both of us moved out our students sisters many of your christian students from different parts of india and i see that from the statistics we see that across the globe and many of my students who are scattered across the globe who have taught in different cities chennai hyderabad Bangalore and different cities and we 
we were motivated by your guy you guys and your love that motivated us to start the social obligation to build a better tomorrow well we don't stop with just the lecture we hope to provide a venue for discussion in camp or search in telegram whatsapp or join us in the blog where you have option to comment or try out the quizzes and study materials will be posted regularly so after you after the session is done you can go back in the recording pause the slide and scan the qr to join these join and get more resources and have a community which involves with you tells you the answers to questions that you have all right so uh, i see that there are some issues with streaming is everyone facing the issue or should we okay all right i see that uh, someone had the issue and they were able to fix it so let's go forward now this is something very exciting for me with that small note let me start the session experiments you know experiments in physics right and chemistry sometimes you mix up something it explodes and here you can see neil degrasse tyson is a wonderful scientist and he is just joking here you can always trust the pendulums as they you as he stands in the first when first time when the pendulum comes you can trust and stand the the pendulum is definitely not going to follow the mark but he as a joke he showed how the pendulum misses the mark and hits it but uh, neil degrasse tyson is someone i would tell you something about a little later so experiment in mathematics is not like experiment in any other subject very safe there is no explosion there is no pendulum coming to hit you there is no chemical as you see in movies explosion and you are covered in blue color there is nothing of that sort so you're going to do some experiments in mathematics before that let me set a pretext also i'll tell you something about neil degrasse tyson most of you are going to be teachers in of mathematics so let me tell you something about him neil degrasse tyson is a science communicator so what he does is he talks science in a way everyone can understand that is like people like you and i he talks science in a way people like you and i or someone who does art someone who does uh english can understand as a teacher if you can also be a science communicator you will also get a lot of love from listening to you train yourself in that if you are interested just put a comment we'll try to have a session on how to be a science communicator how to talk about science in a way everyone can understand going forward let's start with our experiment shall we okay i'm going to pose a question and i am going to wait for your response last digit of 71 plus 72 plus 73 plus 74 plus 75 plus 76 put your thoughts in the chat box quickly i'll definitely wait for a minute and quickly tell you the answer all right i'm also watching you may see me in between turning to my side and looking at the screen because i am also watching the live chat i am also excited to see the live chat all right many of you are saying 1111 yes you are right something interesting here is last digit of a sum is influenced only by the last digit sum of last digits of the numbers you are adding and to add that up you can always use a trick the trick is nothing but add the numbers which forms a perfect 10 for example 4 plus 6 74 is 4 and 76 is 6 you take this 4 and 6 together it forms a 10 throw it out zero doesn't contribute anything 72 is 2 73 is 3 and 75 is 5 add them up you get a perfect 10 throw it out all you have left is 71s 1 and therefore the last digit will be 1 as all of you have said that is really wonderful well i am in the business of complicating things right so let's complicate our math what about 
last digit of 70 into 71 into 72 into 73 into 74 into 12. A pretty big number for sure. But I'm asking you for the last digit. Vicky? Yes, all of you are right. That's a quick response. In fact, it is zero because 70 is the 70 ends with 70 unit plays a zero. Therefore, multiply any number to 70, the last digit will be zero. And thus, look how scary the numbers look. But if you look at just the essential information which is needed, you will get the you will get the you will get the answer pretty. Let me complicate it further. What about 71 into 72 into 73 into 74 into 75 into 75? What's the answer of, what's the last digit of this multiple? Well, let's see. Again, zeros. Why is he taking all free lectures with all the questions having zero, that should be your question. That might be a question you're having, right? Every question so far had the answer zero. Well, this is also interesting because there is a two and five, as uh, Kirindeep said, there is a two and five. If you multiply two and five, you'll get a 10. And therefore, multiply anything with some number ending with zero, you get zero itself. That was again easy, right? But again, we were able to do it because we found some patterns with which we made the observation. Going forward, what about the last digit of the power? 121 to the power 81. The sister in one of the previous sessions introduced two terms. One is exponent and base. The exponent here is 81, base here is 121. What will be the last digit? Turns out. The right, it's one. But things are not going to be as simple as this. That's where our observations today are going to help us. Let's see. Let's observe something. <clears throat> you know this way of multiplication, right? 12 into 34, you can write it as 12 into 4 in the first row, 12 into 3 in the second row, but leave the units place and start from the 10. Now, next step is adding 48 and 3, 6 with nothing at the end. So when you add that, you have 408. That's the answer. Now, any of you might know this. You may also know that 12 into 34 can be written as 12 into 30 plus which can be spread out and written as 12 into 30 plus 12 into 4, which is equal to 360 plus 48. You see that blank space we left there. That blank space actually was the space for that 0. Blank space in units, unit place we left was the space for the 0. Both are one and the same in two different ways. You may have known this. May have, may have known the other, but I don't know how many might have made the connection between these two. That this is same thing mentioned in two different ways. Well, let's notice another thing. If you notice the units place of the numbers we are multiplying are the only factors influencing the units place of the five. That is. 2 into 8, the, the units place of 2 into 8 is, therefore, the final multiple of 12 into 34 will have final digit as 8. Interesting. Now, you can try it with different numbers. You will see that no matter how you try, the units place of the multiple is influenced only by the last digits of you are. That's our first observation. That's once uh, like in physics, <clears throat> once you have reached an observation, we should make a note of it, right? Let's make a note. 
last digit of the multiple is influenced only by the last digit of the with that observation let's jump to the heroes of the story first hero is nothing but perfect square a perfect square is a natural number that can be written as product of two equal factors a perfect square is a natural number that can be written as product of two equal factors for example 4 is a perfect square 2 into 2 equal factors are 2 36 is a perfect square factors are 6 6 into 6 is 36 similarly 49 is that is 7 into 7 or 7 square 81 is a perfect square that's 9 square or 9 into 9 121 is a perfect square that is 121 is 11 into 11 you get the idea of perfect square you knew it from since uh, childhood so you understand the idea of perfect square i hope if you have any questions at any moment please don't hesitate to ask in the chat box all right mr sir is active there he'll be quick to answer your question now let's continue the experiment we saw when you multiply two numbers the last digit is given by the last digit of the original number especially for perfect square the last digits the numbers you are multiplying are the same uh, all right yes as uh, i'll just clarify something before we uh, continue this sessions will be in english we'll try to provide subtitles in hindi for the sessions as well as hindi and tamil since they are two major languages uh anyway i'll uh, english i'll will be sticking to english for these live session all right so let's do some experiment on perfect squares all right so suppose the number you're taking has last digit Well, uh, someone said it's not loud enough. I will increase the volume a bit. Is it better now? I hope it is better now. I had uh, reduced the volume in the uh, encoder. That's why it went a little low. Yes. The so last digit of the number, if it is zero, when you multiply zero with zero, any number ending with zero is zero, you know that you have last digit of the square as zero and now suppose last digit of the number you are multiplying is one that is 31 31 square 31 into 31 last digit will be again one similarly because 31 square is 31 into 31 last units place is influenced only by the unit plates of numbers you are multiplying one into one you will have one similarly for two some number ending with two. For example, let's take 122. 122, last digit is two. Two into two is four. So, last digit of any square of any number ending with two will be four. Right? Continuing that way, for three, for numbers ending with three, last digit will be square of last uh, last digit of square will be nine. Numbers ending with four. Last digit of square will be 6. For 5, interestingly, perfect square will end with 5. For 6, it will be 6. For 7, it will be 9. For 8, it will be 4. For 9, that is numbers ending with 9, their perfect square, their square will end with 1. I just put 10 there for something beautiful that I'll point out now. For any number ending for 10 or multiples of 10, its higher powers will end with 0. The reason I put it is, look how beautifully the numbers are increasing. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. And if you look at the last digit of the square, 
look how increases and then decreases but not just that if you fix about 5 and look at it either side it's almost like some if you put a mirror at 5 you have the same pattern on either side right something else you can notice here last digit of square of any number any any natural number will end only with either 0 1 4 9 6 or 5 let's make that observation perfect square ends in 0 1 4 9 6 and well in that case there are some numbers which seems to be missing 2 is missing 3 is missing 7 is missing that is perfect square never seems to end in 2 3 7 8 they look like prime numbers right did i miss any numbers here oh yeah Grindeep said just pointed out that 8 is also missing i forgot to put it there so a perfect square will never end in 2 3 7 8 7 or well i'll tell you why this is interesting so no perfect square ends with 2 3 7 or all right another interesting property is if you factorize a perfect square prime factors will have even multiplication will have even multiplication that is power of prime factor will be an even number that's because any number n can be written as a into b into c but when you square that number power of a will be multiplied by 2 uh, shivam which one are you talking about the previous uh, or like yeah this one so any number n you can write it as multiple of a some number a into b into c where a is some power of some prime number b is some power of b is some power of prime number so when you square it what happens is a gets squared that is you will have something like 10 uh, 5 to the power 6 5 to the power 3 to the power 2 so that will become 5 to the power 3 into 2 that is 5 to the power 6 every prime factor for a perfect square will have even power that's one observation that we can make upon prime factorization all the prime factors will have even multiplication similarly someone earlier pointed out right whenever there is 2 and 5 2 into 5 forms a 2 into 5 forms a 0 so another interesting fact about perfect squares is if a perfect square if it ends with zero at the end it ends with even number of zeros those who are interested in math can look at it and figure it out why i said it will end with even number of zeros but others can take it as a fact and make it as an observation if a perfect square ends with zero it ends with even number of zeros well uh, with that note let's talk about it in another direction no perfect square ends with an odd number let's conclude our observation no perfect square ends with two three seven or eight no perfect square ends with an odd number of zeros further Upon prime factorization, all their prime factors will have even multiplicity. Three things we observed, and we will go ahead make one more set of observations. Let's make an observation about tens digit. We are talking about perfect squares from of numbers from squares from one to sixty. All right. All right. So, can you please confirm if 
the streaming is proper. Can you please confirm if the streaming is proper? Yes. But it's still strong. Okay. All right. Seems to be back now. Okay. All right, uh, seems like the network is giving up. I'll just uh, pause for a while and get back. All right, I hope it's back in action. All right, yeah, seems like the issue is sorted. So I've just tried to fix it by avoiding the video. Now, hopefully it will be properly running. All right. Now, can you please give, give a confirmation? I'll borrow another five minutes and I'll end this session on perfect square for now. All right, so let's make some observations on tens, tens place of uh, perfect squares. Well, if you notice, here we have listed down tens place of different numbers. The, the perfect square, square of different numbers. The first 60 perfect square. And if you notice, for numbers ending with 1, 2, 3, and 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10, tens place is always even. Now, Similarly, if you notice 4 and 6 alone, tens places always. So we can make that as an observation, right? If we can even make better observation. When the unit digit is 1, 4, or 9, tens place will always be even. When the unit's place is 0 or 5, tens place. For 0, tens place is always 0. For 5, tens place is always 2. For 6, when the unit's place is 6, when it's 6 in the unit's place, tens place is always odd. If you notice, for 4 and four square and 6 square, numbers ending with 4 and 6, unit's place is 6, and therefore, the tens place is odd 1 3 9 5 and six. all right so just to conclude this we'll share this uh, we'll share this note soon and uh, before we conclude the session in another five minutes and keep up with the time we will do one or two sample questions many more questions will be provided in the we many more questions will be provided in the um, provided in, a, in our uh, study materials, which we are going to do tomorrow. So we, we are going to share within an hour of the session. All right. So first question, I'm going to wait for your response. Which of the following number is the perfect? Options are 48841. Second is 58287. Third C is 68763, C8263. Put your thoughts in the chat box. Get back to this question in a minute. I'm waiting for your response, and once there is enough response, we'll get back to this.
All right. All of you have got the answer right. How do we get it? DC asks, we have made three observations, right? Out of which we will use the first one. No perfect square ends with 2, 3, 7, 8. If that observation was not readily served with you, you would have struggled to make a conclusion in the given time because otherwise the, you might have to do a lot of lot of things, lot of calculations. But since the observation is there for you, you can directly say option A is the answer because option B, C, and D ends with 2, 3. Therefore, you can directly conclude the answer as C, right? But if you have the right facts ready, right, it is needed many facts you might have to remember, many patterns you might remember when you're going for exam. Also, you can do the experiments as we did here. If you have time after thing, the reason we showed you how this came is because just like we showed here, you can do the experiments and find it as well. Right? Now, let's do one more question. Seems to be a stream. Well, just a second. Okay, yeah. All right. So going forward, we'll do one more question. Which of the following number is a this is not? Let's. Go ahead. With this question, we will wind up the session. But give a shot and tell me what your thought. Options are A, 1022121, B, 20432122, C, 30631226, D, 40831226. It's still A. Interesting. I wonder, can someone post in the chat box why option A? First of all, you already noticed that tens place, you already noticed something. In units place, it is 1, 4, or 9, 0, 1, 4, 5, or 9, it has, to, or tens place has to be. Now, and also we can read out the sum options because in sum options, the perfect squares are ending with 2, 6, 2, and 8. You can rule those options out. If Units place is 6, then by our observation, tens place digit should be odd. Therefore, we can remove option C as well. We are left with option A and B. All right. So, with that observation, we'll wind up for today to keep up with the time and we will. All right, one more question I'll do and then we will, because that will help us with the next session. Uh, well, what about this? The tens place in two six five nine one seven four nine to the power one one zero zero one six is. Give it a shot. Well, it's a very easy question. If you use the same facts, you can do it. Well, it is very easy. In fact, it is easy because you already made an observation, right? 
when the units digit is 0, 1, 4, 5, and tens place will be given. Here, if you notice, the number ends in 9. From the, the power, the if you notice the number which is given here can be written as 2 phi, the whatever number is there in the base to the power 5 phi 0 0 8 to the power 2. That is, this number can be written as a square. And in fact, the next lecture will be about how to find the last digit of 26591749 to the power 5 phi 0 0 8. That looks impossible, but we will do it. In fact, your answers are right. It will be even, but you need to do some more math before, some more observation before we conclude to that. With that small note, let's wind up the session for now. Just to remind you again, you can follow us on the Telegram, WhatsApp, by in telegram by either searching for christie's classes or scanning this qr whatsapp by sending a message to 807-511-6641 where you will get automated reply with link to join the group or you can go to christieworkers.in where we will be posting ready materials regularly and this will be this will uh, these uh, information uh, this session for not uh, Abiru, yes, give an example of that result about prime factorizing. Definitely. Uh, just a second. Just a second. I'll uh, give you that result. All right. Others, uh, we are just uh, uh, Diwali. You can get a copy of the book easily from our uh, 